Most it falls in front, Kelly off balance, Johnson surrounded, still going, Johnson hooks towards goal, how will it bounce? Well, to the Collingwood would bounce, it came back and hit Reed. Sometimes they run on, not that time. His man, Bateman, oh Reed, that's a mark. She's been good, hasn't he? Hasn't he been good? To Davis and Davis, well, Reed should be on his own, and then Reed goes and kicks the goal. Oh, that flights it. Reed backs back with the flight and still took the mark. Some big returns against Collingwood. Lovely kick inside. Hawkins. Well, great tackle great coming tackle. from Reed. That's right. That was a terrific tackle. Franklin pushing out and then being held up. Great tackle by Reed and Big Bunny couldn't break it. In time, Reed searched for it in the world. Ellis's kick gets it outside the 50. Reed read it best and marks. Collingwood have lifted, haven't they? Never mind. Towards the punt road in. Long way to the end for Reed. Did it really well against Madison. Ball for Stanley to deal with. He's got the pace. We know he's quick. He'll run away from Reed. No, Reed's tackle. Brilliant. Wide. Kerrick's now. He's a good kick, good user. This is not his best as he sticks it down the throat of Reed. This man just reads it so well. Now blasts it back. Moore again, stolen by Reed, kicks around the body. They can smell it now. They're just about there. Falling in, chance for Dugowie, little handball, Reed outside of the boot. It's good. Fresh shave too to get ready for round one. Left foot laconic style. Listen to this. First one on the board to the Maggies. Tip to Law. 45, good discipline kick to the spot. Tasbolt flew, but Reed marks. Tonight, good effort. Reed for his third goal. Pies are in front at the MCG against the reigning champs. Grundy stands under this. Reed there with him, and Reed! Jets kick almost cut off, not by Reed for a goal. Yes! It's been coming, they're going to love this. That's an opening for the Pies. Side bottom gives to Thomas. Being pursued by Jones. And he's time to take his choice. And that's the man. And he chews it to a match a couple of weeks ago. He was rested last week, back in the team. And hits the scoreboard at last for Collingwood. In his opening turn. I think it was just after half time or just before half time I hurt my leg. Ben McAvoy tackled me and, and came across my leg and I just felt a little crack. There was obviously something not quite right. So they jabbed it up, put a couple of jabs in there and painkillers. I was yeah, lucky enough to get back out on the ground and, and end up playing out the game, which was, was pretty special. The most memorable thing I remember from that, uh, that day after I went back on, um, I went off to the bench and I think there was about two or three minutes left in the game and Mick came down to the bench and you know the boys were celebrating and he just said, oh, get back on out there and, and just remember where you end up at the end of the game and I remember that moment. He said, go to full forward and I sort of looked at him a bit funny going, you serious? And then I ended up being uh, back at half back by the end of the game so I uh, yeah, remember that moment fondly. There was a bit of pain when it first happened. There was no way without the jabs I would have been able to keep playing the game. Um, it was lucky it wasn't my kicking leg because um, I came back on and the ball came to me pretty quickly and I, I had to have a kick and um, yeah, I couldn't feel my foot at all when I was running around. It was just numb as and then by the end of the game it started to wear off a little bit and um, but once yes, we knew that we were, so we were going to win a grand final, all the pain went away and it was just uh, yeah, all the, um, I suppose the happiness just numbed it a fair bit. I remember looking over and, and seeing Maxi hug Steelo and um, I think I just ran over there and probably nearly choked Maxi to death with a headlock from behind, but um, just happiness and I suppose relief in a way that um, you know, what, we, what we wanted to do all year was, was done. Yeah, it was an amazing day and something that I'll never forget.